Five tonight, a returning citizen is caught in the middle of a back and forth between D.C. Council and the district's U.S. Attorney Matthew Graves. So tomorrow, the council is set to vote on whether to make Joel Castone a member of the D.C. Sentencing Commission. That's the agency that offers the council recommendations on sentencing policy. Rafael Sanchez Cruz is on this, and Rafa, his nomination is getting pushback here from those that say the convicted murderer should not be part of this agency. Yeah, that's right, Simone. In the last hour, D.C.'s top prosecutor Matthew Graves told us he thinks that every vote in the sentencing commission matters and he thinks the nominee should have some kind of training and sentencing guidelines but tonight chairman mendelson is doubling down on his nomination joel castone made history in 2021 becoming the first incarcerated person to win an elected office in the district as ward 7 a and c commissioner here i am now as a middle-aged man very cognizant of the bad decisions i made in the past very grateful that by the grace of God, I have been redeemed. That's what Castone told WUSA 9 in a 2022 interview. After spending 27 years behind bars for murder, last month he was tapped by the D.C. Council to become one of the 17 members in D.C. Sentencing Commission, the independent agency that helps shape sentencing guidelines for judges in D.C. Superior Court. Remember the Sentencing Commission has guidelines for the purpose of consistency. It doesn't actually set the sentences. Castone's nomination has faced criticism, including from D.C.'s top prosecutor. One of the biggest issues that we've been trying to flag is the sentences that we receive in the cases that we prosecute. And that's driven largely by uh, these guidelines uh, that are created by D.C. sentencing commissions that advise judges in general uh, for certain offenses the ranges of sentences that would be appropriate. And in our estimation, in many instances, these ranges are too low and we need a commission that has that view and is willing to make the changes that are needed. The U.S. attorney did recognize Casson's work as an ANC, but he added neither that work nor his lived experience as an incarcerated person renders him an expert in sentencing policy matters. The commission asked that uh, we appoint a returning citizen. Tonight, Mendelssohn is doubling down on the nomination ahead of tomorrow's vote, downplaying the commission's influence. Anybody who suggests that what's happening with crime today is a result of these guidelines, well, if that's the case, then it was the reason why crime was down so low 10 years ago. Now, if confirmed, Castone would serve a three-year term. We did reach out to him to hear his response to these criticisms, but haven't heard back. The vote is said to take place tomorrow morning. We, of course, will keep you updated. Okay, Rafa, thank you.